Justine Ludwig, the Director of Exhibitions and Senior Curator at Dallas Contemporary. So my job is to put together exhibitions. And Dr. Ora Satz was somebody who I, I went to a lecture of hers three years ago and was just absolutely taken by what she was doing because she was making visible the things that are so often hidden in society. And the fact that she was bringing to light the fact that women have been involved in the sciences for so long yet are written out of history was something that I thought needed to be addressed and I wanted to bring that to a new audience so Dallas seemed to be the appropriate place for that. And I've long been passionate about the sciences it's something that I care very deeply about. It's something I, I studied growing up and I was heavily invested in. And this was a perfect moment to bring together those shared passions of the sciences and the arts. Well, for me, this it was new learning about this tonight. And it was really fantastic to see that it's something that there's been a lot of attention placed on because so often I think young women are told that these are not fields that they belong in. These are not things that they can succeed in. And finally seeing that there's an attention placed on that and women are empowered to take important roles in these fields is unbelievably important because it's something that needs to be invested in young women from a very early age. And seeing that the school system is really focusing on that was an amazing thing. Thanks so so often they don't see themselves reflected in the fields. They don't see other successful women. They don't see how important women have been in the history of these fields. And so seeing that that is actually not the case, they're not alone in this, and that there have been women involved in the sciences for a very long time, and that there are very important women now working in these fields is unbelievably important. And I think when they have mentors, when they have people to look up to and bounce ideas off of, work as mentors, that's an unbelievably important thing and that will help them succeed in these fields. Well, both the sciences and the arts are about the exploration and organization of knowledge. It's the same thing. It's just very different approaches to that in different end games. And I think that's what's so beautiful. And if somebody can approach the arts and the sciences, it gives them a more holistic picture. Sometimes having an understanding of the arts can give you a creative solution to a scientific issue. And that's something that is wonderful and we should also really embrace, that we shouldn't segregate these fields, but rather show how they are in conversation with each other and can strengthen each other. But there are many artists that marry the arts and sciences. It's something that we see quite often, especially in the field of computing. It's quite common that you see a marriage between computing and the arts. Also here at UTD, we see that there's actually a department that focuses on the relationship between technology, sciences, and the arts. So it is something that we're certainly invested in, and that's because there is a whole subsect of the arts that looks at this specifically. Oliver Eliason is an artist that really marries the arts and sciences in a seamless way. He uses very in-depth research about color theory within the scientific realm to create his artistic practice. And there are those that are following suit in a similar manner. So this is something that we're certainly trying to foster. And for us, I think this is a good beginning step, that it's an opportunity to bring in people that have not perhaps been to our institution before that are invested in the sciences and showing them that there is a relationship between the sciences and arts and it's something that we hope to foster further in the future our education program really does bring the arts to the school and marries that among a lot of different disciplines but it's not necessarily science focused but it's something that I certainly hope that we can invest more in in the future